this video, we're going to look at a counter made from JK flip-flops. So a JK flip-flop, a flip-flop in general holds a bit, a zero or a one, and the JK flip-flop has inputs labeled J and K and has a special uh, toggling state. So this uh, 7476, I'm looking at its truth table here in multi-sim. And the, the pre and the clear, this is a, a set and a reset independent of any uh, clock. And that is a low, active low. So the, the clearing, when the clear is low, then the main output Q will be set low. And if the uh, pre is low, then the main output Q will be set to one and set them both uh, low at the same time. So we can see here that uh, I've set the, all the pre's uh, high. So I'm not going to get the presetting action. I'm not going to force Q to be one. I have the clears uh, connected, uh, all connected to this uh, switch. So I will uh, start with them. I'll start the switch in the low position. So I will be uh, clearing in the beginning and then, uh, then I will flip the switch and move it out of the clear state. And then we will start to get some kind of action. Okay. Then, uh, happens we get a uh, there is a clock at input of these jk's and uh, so there is an edge phenomena and so when the clock goes through an edge we get an action and free and clear are one which will they will be when i flip the switch high then if j and k are also high I will toggle, which means if I'm a zero, I become a one. If I'm a one, I become a zero. Okay, and I have a set of four of these JK flip-flops set to toggle. The, the first one here is connected to a clock. So let me show you where I got that from. That was under, so the JK flip-flops I found um, just sort of in general searched uh, sort of all the groups and looked for the 74, 76. And that's where I found those JK flip-flops. And I found the clock under a signal voltage and found a clock input. So that's what this is, a clock input. And I don't want another one. Sorry about that. And its uh, properties are, it has a voltage. I'm sticking to a standard sort of five and a frequency. And this started in, in kilohertz. I got rid of the K and went down to pretty low. So I could sort of not just get a blur of numbers, but see it happening. So four hertz is four times a second. Um, that might be slowed down a little bit from simulation but um, I want it fairly slow so I can see what's going on. So again, um, that's a clock voltage. It's not a DC voltage. It's not an AC voltage. It's a clock voltage. And that is going to get me to go through. Just, uh, it's going to go through a cycle and the cycle will include a positive and negative edge uh, four times a second. Um, and that is causing the, and the J and K are high. So that's causing the toggling of this Q output. So it is either, oh, and it becomes a zero. If it's a zero, it becomes a one. And then that output is going to my ones place of my display, but it is also serving as the clock for the next JK flip-flop. And that place and then the two's place is displayed and also serves as the clock for the four's place and the four's place is displayed and serves as the clock for the eight's place. And we can see that over here I've 
just set up a table where I've counted in binary, and you can, uh, this is just the counting order of, of a four bit number. And we can see that when the ones place goes through a negative edge, uh, one to zero, going from high to low, then I want the next place to toggle. So when the ones place goes through a negative edge, I want the twos place to toggle. When the ones place goes through a negative edge, I want the twos place to toggle. When the twos place goes through a negative edge, I want the fours place to toggle. And that's happening by this uh, output, twos output, the, the second JK flip-flop, the twos place it's serving as the clock input for the four. So we can see here by this uh, bit order, counting order for of my bits, that uh, that phenomena is going to correspond to counting. And this is over here, this U1A, that's going to be the ones place, hence it's attached to this far end of the display. And uh, so this should count. So let's uh, turn it on. And right now my uh, clear is getting a low and that's the action. So I don't see anything happening, but if I flip the switch, then I am now in the toggling and I am counting from zero up to F. So it's a four bit number. So I've got uh, all 16 bits and I'm counting from zero up to one, 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 which is F. And that's what we saw there right now. I've stopped at 10, which is A. So that's what we have going here on. This is known as a ripple counter because if the output of one thing serves as an input to another one um, and so on down the line, then that is known as rippling. And so this is a rip and this overall, this thing counts. So this is a ripple counter made from JK flip-flops. Now I just add a little feature to the one below and remember that the clearing action forcing everything to be all zeros is it's a, a low of low these clears down here are active low so if it, if these get a low i'm going to get a zero that is being fed from this and gate which has two inputs so if i am a low on this switch then this AND is getting a low. If an AND gets a, any low, then it's low. So when this switch is low, like it was above, when this switch is low, this is cleared. It's not, we're not running right now. So it's, you don't see the clearing action now, it's not running. But so when this switch is low, we get the clearing action. And that's this user flipping the switch. Okay. Um, how does the other, so if this switch were high, then how does this other input to the AND get to be low? When, when is the other time that we are clearing that we are forcing to be zero? Okay, so that second input of this AND is coming from a NAND. The NAND is the opposite of an AND. So an AND gate is uh, the zeros and, and on a certain circumstance a one and a NAND then will be the opposite. It's almost always a one except in some special circumstance when it's a zero. That's the behavior of a NAND. And so when is it, uh, when is that NAND, let's think of it first as an AND and then invert it. So when, when are the inputs all ones to get the and to be a one to get the NAND to be a zero. Okay, so I'm feeding off of in the ones place uh, Q prime. So if Q were one, uh, sorry, if Q were zero, Q prime would be a one. Q Q and Q prime or tilde Q are supposed to be opposites in these things. So uh, this this purple being a one corresponds to this being a zero. So a, a zero in the ones place and i'm pulling off of q in the twos place so i want a one in the twos place uh, here i'm pulling off of in the fours place i'm pulling off of uh, q prime again so i want a zero in the 
fourth place and then back to a one in the eighth place. So I'm looking for a, a one, zero, one, zero, uh, an eight, uh, eight plus zero fours plus two plus zero ones. And so that's eight plus two or 10. So where is my, uh, and it, I, this started counting zero, zero, zero was in one. So in Excel, in the 11th row, here's my 10. That a one in the eights place, a zero in the fours place, a one in the twos place, a zero in the ones place. That is when these inputs to the NAND are all high, and then the output of the NAND is a low, making this AND also a low. And these, this clear is active low, so that will perform the clearing action. So when we see one zero one zero, when we get to ten, then this should clear. So we will see that this counter with this addition is only going to count up to up to and including nine, and at ten it will reset. So we will not see any of the hex letters. We will see the decimal digits here in this counter before it resets and starts again. So let's turn that guy on and then flip the switch to get it going. And we're going to including nine, but at 10, we are resetting. And then I can flip the switch and turn it off. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. A a ripple adder made from J, K flip-flops that have this toggling behavior if the J and K are high. We have the pre and the clear, which is active low. So we want them to, to get the toggling action uh, and not some pre-setting, not some preset or some clear, but the, the toggling action. Then we want the pre and the clear to be high. The pre's were all tied high. The, the clears could be high or low, depending on this switch. And then uh, this counted up to F to 15. And then we added some additional behavior down here to get it to clear at a different number, in this case, A or 10. And when it clears, you, you don't see that. That happens so fast, you don't see that uh, number. And again, this over here was a a clock input, not not an, not DC, not AC, but a clock input. Very much that's what I wanted to show you in this video.